Hey guys, Silks here today, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the best settings with OBS for streaming. So we're going to start off by opening OBS. If you don't already have OBS, there is a link in the description to this link here. Just click I have read, and then click download to download it. Then you'll be greeted with this after installing the program. So first of all, you want to right? What do I do? Go to settings, and as you can see, copy all the settings I have here. So this doesn't matter, this is up to you. Uh, obviously you want to make sure the English is your the language is yours, which is mine is English obviously. And maybe set a profile. You can have more than one profile on the set on here. So I don't know why it made me do that. But anyway. Next you can go to video encoding, make sure it's on depending on actually what it is, because I don't know what NVIDIA Ethecon is or whatever that is. But I'm guessing that's something to do with having a NVIDIA card, which I do not have a rage on something terrible. Anyway, just ignore the graphics card, but anyway, that's if you're more professional with it. Um, so make sure it's on 264 times. Encoder, use CBR, you enable CBR padding, this may not be. And use custom buffer size. So, so make sure that you don't go over your internet. Or used to much of it so as you can see I actually have a very poor upload speed which some people are blessed in certain areas of the world with mental ones for very very low prices but some of us here are struggling <laughs> um, most companies offer a like a 10 percent so as you see I've got if I've got 54 download I should be getting about a five upload which I don't get which is really annoying because I should be but now I'm getting a f what I used to should have been getting at 30 which was the upgrade before but anyway so you wanna depending on your upload speed head to speedtest.net check your upload speed and set this up so back then I had a 1.8 megabyte so now I can actually have a free 1100 depending on your upload speed put that in so if mine's a 3.1 there, I'm going to put 3.1. Or you can just put 3. I'd suggest putting whatever yours is, maybe a little bit less, so you're not using too much of your internet. Then you want to head over to audio encoding, make sure it's AC, AAC, 64-bit, 48 hertz, and stereo channel. Now, this is one of the main things. Now, if you don't know your stream key, go find it it says very clearly on Twitch TV how you can find it and there'll be a link in the description to that as well so you wanna straight away put in your stream key which just means that you'll be able to stream to that's your channel and then you wanna choose where you're streaming to so this could be YouTube, Daily Motion, Twitch, Hitbox which actually is just become available I'm pretty sure well it's pretty new anyway and it's I've heard very good. And then you want to choose the closest server to you depending where you are. So I'm in Europe, UK, so I'm going to select London. Then you want to sort out an auto reconnect timeout. So say your internet goes, you can turn it on or off, it's up to you. But if you crash, it just means, well, if your internet goes, you'll reconnect as soon as possible, basically. Then you may want to choose an area to save footage if you need to. Like you can have it to save the stream to a file. So that way if someone misses your stream you could upload it to YouTube. You just wanna go ahead and stick that in an area. So select it. Mine's not working for some reason. I'll show you again. YouTube, so I'd wanna save it there. Um, I'd save it as OBS underscore, so it adds a number. So then that would be whatever number it is. Then you can just totally ignore this section. I have no idea what it's even on about. Go ahead and save. So this is where it will tell you your video size. So you may want to downscale. But this is where it will put in your monitor. So my monitor is 1280 by 720. 1280 by 720. What am I on about? 1920 by 1080 with an aspect ratio of 16.9 it will probably automatically fill this in for you 
And then you want to choose the quality of your stream. So this is 1280 by 720 so it's got a 1.5 resolution downscale. Then you want to make sure that the FPS isn't too high because if you're streaming a ridiculous FPS you're going to be struggling to upload it and if your computer isn't that good there's going to be a problem. Also you want to disable error, error <laughs> however that is said and make sure your filter is on battling you fast. And click apply and then go to audio. So audio you want to make sure that you've selected the right stuff. Mine's changed since I changed my stuff. Then you want to add a delay or a boost depending on what you're using. Uh, I totally ignore that because I don't use push to talk. And you want to have self a boost depending on your audio. Then click apply. Here's your hotkeys. You can change this however you want. Like Just like with action, press F9 to start recording. You could have that for your stream. And then here are some very important options. So you want to make sure if you have a computer with more than one core on the CPU, mine's a quad core, you can use multi-core threading, which basically means that it uses more than one core of your computer, meaning that would be a lot better. Then you want to choose your priority class, usually you want to choose normal. Leave these unticked if they're already if they're ticked, untick them. Don't worry about the buffering time, that is totally up to you, but if you want to copy mine, go ahead. Uh, then you want to make sure that this is on very fast, usually it will be on something else. I'm not too sure why it will be on, but change it to very fast anyway. Then you want to make sure your encoding profile is main with a two keyframe interval. Next you want to click use CFR, so it allows it to. I have no idea why actually just but make sure it's ticked. You don't have to worry about any of these bits now. I just want to hit apply. Then you've got your quick sync encoder. I have no idea what this does, just leave that alone. And then you have a noise gate. So a noise gate is actually to prevent certain decibels of sounds getting through. So say you've got a hum in the background, you can make sure that it doesn't get through unless your voice is over twenty decibels or something like that. So say you're talking really, really loud like this, all through your stream, and that's how they know that that's your voice. You can find out what decibels that is somehow, I have no idea how. You can look it up, and I'm sure there'll be like a test for it. And you can set it so it'll only use, like, basically as long as you know what, how loud you are, it won't go over that. So if there's a background hum, at, say two decibels you can black that out and then when you speak over two decibels it'll pick it up so it's pretty simple really and you want to go ahead and click OK and that's pretty much it you just go on settings and do it you can either do settings settings or click settings on there um, if you want to check a stream you can just go to preview stream but it won't let me since I'm actually using action so I don't want it to happen and I probably just caused something. So since I'm already doing it, you can click preview stream just to check. Ignore. So as you can see there's nothing on here, but if I go to monitor capture, you can't see my monitor. Yep, there we are, look, you can see my monitor. There it is, look. And that's just show you that's how it's done. So you if you want need to check your stream, just check it there. And Maybe in a future video I'll show you how to have all these set up and everything else. But that is how to get the best settings for your internet when you have a very low upload or a very high upload and you don't want to be using all of it. Since some people in some countries don't have unlimited downloads or uploads, so you have to be very careful. Anyway, I've been CX, so I hope that helped you guys. Please remember to leave a comment, rate and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.